in Turbo Design Volute, just like in TD1, we start by loading the input file that was exported from TD Pre, and we can see that the machine type has automatically been set as compressor, and the working fluid has changed to real gas with the correct RGP file selected. And if we proceed to the main dimensions, then these have already been pre-filled from the TD Pre file. And then also the cross section has been set to asymmetric and then the shapes at the entry and the duct have been preset as elliptical external because this was specified in TD Pre. And then the outlet settings, the outlet tube settings are also preset to match those in TD Pre. And here we have the option to choose the type of outlet such as tangential or radial and we can go with the tangential option in this case. And then finally, the most important part is the inlet boundary conditions, which is specification of the radial and tangential velocity components, along with the total pressure and temperature of the refrigerant coming out of the diffuser exit into the volute. So we can specify a, this constant value throughout the circumference, or we can specify a profile as well. But in this case, we can go with a constant value that's been taken from the TD Pre report for all the boundary conditions. So next we can run the calculation which runs a 2D inverse design code to give us the optimum area distribution for the given volute inlet flow profile and then in the post tab we have a 3D view of the volute that we generated. as well as some plots such as the velocity vectors and the cross section area variation along the circumference which is clearly unique and non-linear and finally there are also some useful performance parameters of interest such as the total pressure lost estimate and other geometry parameters as well. And once we have the volute design, it's possible to then directly export a solid IGS model of the same for a staged CFD analysis with the impeller.